Powers of Paternia, Episode 2, Bonds of Trust, Chains of Fear. Between Eternia's two great continents, there looms a foreboding range of subaquatic volcanoes. A few of the smoldering peaks rise above the boiling water. These are the Berserk Islands. Only the highest flying birds dare approach this part of the Harmony Sea, as the air around the islands is a choking morass of toxic fumes. It is little wonder that magicians rule this world. Blackbird mused to himself as he soared above the poison clouds. He was a gargon. His wings made him a prince among his nation of flightless birdmen. However, though he was of royal blood and his dark wings and special helmet let him fly wherever he chose, he knew no contentment. Some warriors, at least, have the honor of being enforcers or bodyguards to the wizard kings. But not I. I loathe all that I've become. He landed on the tallest peak of the submerged mountain range, extinct but towering nearly a mile higher than its nearest neighbor in the thin air. Point Dread deserved its name. You, my friend, would never bend me. Your talons would never serve a chanter of rhyme. He ran his hand over the huge statue that perched above the crenellated fortification that topped Point Dread. The sculpture poured from a golden alloy and encrusted with deep blue sapphires was in the shape of a huge bird. Not just any bird, but a fighter. An armored bird. In truth, the bird was sculpted to appear partly mechanical. Its shape resonated with Blackbird's gargon heart. He was a birdman whose ancestors had used lost technology to build the Gargon Nation's hereditary arms and armor. He dreamed that one day the legend would come true, and that this fusion of animal and machine would come to life and soar again. I shall never see that day, but I must be like you. I may be nothing but a filthy shadow skulker, but I must act like a warrior. He was deep inside the bowels of Point Dread now, far down beneath the level of the boiling sea. At this level, the fortress was glittering steel, gently pulsing points of light in a quiet, humming ambiance. Whoever built this place would be shamed to see its new king, but I must serve him, and well. He is the greatest king on all of Eternia. No man can stand before him. His king was truly without equal, a mighty sorcerer, his name kept secret, some said even from himself, so that no spells could touch him at a distance. Not that anyone could find the courage to face him in person. His very body radiated with such power that his bones seemed to glow from within his thin, almost translucent flesh. He was a horror. He would rule the world, and Blackbird was determined to help. My lord, I bring news. Gargon kept his dark wings wrapped carefully around himself as he stepped into the Nameless One's dark chamber. Blackbird stayed well outside the ring of eerie witch light that his king cast around him, peering from between dark feathers he tried to discern reaction on his master's fleshless ghost face. I'm waiting. A new wizard, a powerful one. A landless wizard has formed an alliance with Darksmoke and Dragon Valley. He calls himself Hero and claims that he represents all the Pretender Kings and even pledges defense for Snake Mountain. The unnamed one's eye sockets burned with red coals of anger. His circle of sickly yellow light crawled forward ever nearer the Blackbird's boot. I've worked so long to ensure that Silesia would consume the rest of the Eastern Continent. If the Faceless One had taken dominion over Dark Smoke, Dragon Valley, and Snake Mountain, as I had planned, I could have taken the entire Western Realm without contest. Perhaps, sire, this new wizard will bring turmoil to the Eastern lands, and you'll be able to move west, unopposed anyway. Fool. If this hero seeks to unite the warrior kings under his banner, then it is on the western continent that he will raise his armies. He may feud with Zalasia, but he'll need more than the likes of Tarman or the Snake Clan to succeed. Out of the corner of Blackbird's eye, he caught sight of a shifting shadow. 
the inky dot of blackness seemed to step away from the wall, and in a strange shifting of darkness, it resolved itself into the shape of a warrior, clad all in black, only his hands and almond-shaped eyes exposed. His chest was emblazoned with a spiraling dragon design in blood red. The shadow warrior stepped boldly into the ring of glowing witchfire, and amazingly, the light seemed to recede before him. Who are you to enter Point Dread uninvited? I am Ninjaw. I bring you news of the western continent. I'm listening. 